If the length of two sides of an isosceles triangle are 10 and 16, then what is the area of the triangle? So the very first thing that we need to understand here is the length of two sides of an isosceles triangle are 10 and 16. Since it's an isosceles triangle, so there are two possibilities, 1, 10, 10, 16, and the second possibility is 10, 16, 16. Now, these two are possibilities and in each case we need to check whether some of the two sides is greater than the third side for the triangle to be acceptable or not. And we see that 10 plus 10 is greater than 16, so that is acceptable. Similarly, 10 plus 16 is also greater than 16, so this case as well is acceptable. Now, let's quickly draw the figures and then figure out what the answer should be. So here we have first question where the two sides are 10, 10 and the third side is 16. To answer this question, what we are doing is, I will simply drop the perpendicular from the vertex which joins the two equal sides. So here we had these two sides 10 and the bottommost side was 16. So it divides the base into two equal parts and I have these two sides 8 each. So Using Pythagoras theorem, we find out the height has to be 6. Anyway, it is 6, 8, 10 right triangle, which is very frequently used. And the area of this triangle will be half of 16 multiplied by 6. So that is 48. But we see 48 is not amongst the options. So now let's quickly move towards the second case. The second possible triangle is in which the two sides are 16 and one side is 10. Here, the triangle will look somewhat like this where these two sides each has length 16 and this third side is 10. But once again in this case we will drop the perpendicular from the vertex which joins the two equal sides. Here 16, 16, 10 and this perpendicular will bisect the base into two equal parts 5 each. And now we have to find the height which is equal to a square root of 16 is square minus 5 is square which is a square root of 256 minus 25. Let's quickly calculate it. 256 minus 25 is 1, 3, 2. So that is the square root of 231, which means the area of this triangle will be half of 10 times the square root of 231, which becomes 5 times of the square root of 231. Now, 5 times of square root 231 is option E, so that becomes our answer. I hope you enjoyed learning. Thank you so much for watching.